and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. Today's video is sponsored by our Amazon affiliate link which you'll see in the comments section below. You'll also see in the description below any links to videos I mentioned in this video. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about bathing your plants, about keeping your plants clean. It's really important to keep your plants clean. One of the main reasons to keep the foliage clean, besides the fact that it looks a lot better when it's not all dusty and dirty, is that it also allows the plants to clean your air much more efficiently. There are stomata in the leaves. Uh, most of the stomata are at the bottom of the leaves. However, there are stomata in the top of the leaves as well, depending on the plants as well. And uh, they use those stomata to clean the air for you. Uh, when they clean the air, they also feed themselves by pulling toxins out of the air and converting them into food. So it's really important in general to keep your house plants clean. Another really good reason to keep them clean too is you ward off pests and diseases when you do that. Pests and diseases uh, will tend to go towards the foliage that isn't as clean sometimes because they get other things from whatever's caked on the leaves. And it, when you clean them on a regular basis, you will tend to get rid of any eggs or anything or any pests and diseases that are hanging out there and keep anything like that under control as well. So this is Henry. He is a part of um, my series uh, we'll have a playlist on root rod and he's doing really well he's growing bigger and bigger every day and one of the things i like to do with him is to keep him clean like i mentioned so i you can use insecticidal soap uh, safer brand has a good insecticidal soap yeah that you can find online for this this method that i'm going to show you uh, i also like to use as well this is a uh, castile soap it has some cool ingredients in it some of the like mint is in here for one thing uh and jojoba oil some things that that i'm i've been experimenting with this for a while and finding that it does do a good job of cleaning leaves as well so those are two good options for this in terms of regular dish detergent things like that i would probably aim for the safer soap like I mentioned or something that this like something milder uh, there are because there are some harsh things and some other depending on what you're using that could uh, damage the sheen the natural sheen on the houseplant leaves as you see this as uh, Henry has a very nice sheen on his leaves so uh, keep that in mind as well. Okay, so I've already put some of this soap into this water. So I'm just going to show you the method here that I use. So this would be a method. You can do this in the bathtub. If you want to get in the bathtub with your, if you have a big, tall plant, uh, get in the bathtub, do this in the bathtub with your plant. I do encourage giving your plants showers when you can, the, especially the bigger ones. If you're going to do the smaller ones, use a handheld wand and spray it gently. And even with the bigger plants you don't want it on full blast like they're in a torrential rainstorm you want to do a nice gentle rinsing and let it go for a while do cover up the the pot bottom of the pot when you're doing the showering thing so that the soil doesn't come out okay so I have two sponges here as you'll notice and the reason I do that is because I save time that way so what I'll do if you can see this here I will use one hand and I will brush the leaf and I have a sponge on each side and I get things cleaned off that way. Now there is the residual, a little residual, there's going to be a little residual uh, of this, the, um, this, the cast, this is the Castile soap on here and it would be with the safer. You can actually a lot of times leave it on if you've only done a little bit you can also, if you prefer, and a lot of times I do prefer that, I'll do this method with the whole plant and then I will go give the plant a little showering off after the soap, this soap mixture sits on here a little while. And it's actually a better idea because even with the safer soap and with this, you're going to get a resid residual sticky kind of thing going on. It can clog the pores as well. So it's better to do this. Let it sit. You can let it sit for 
an hour or so. You can even let it sit for a day or so. So say you've been having some problems with something like mealybugs and you want to make sure that this will suffocate them. So you uh, can leave it on and then you make sure that things are dead and then you would rinse it off. So when I, like I said, I would cover this bottom. You could use something like bubble wrap or a plastic bag and tip, her, tip him over and then gently spray the leaves and get off all of the, um, of the soap, any residual soap. You can do it in the sink as well with the smaller plants and keeping them nice and spiffy and happy and clean for you so they clean your indoor air and they look really pretty as well and they stay nice and healthy. And thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified if you're a subscriber when we release a new video.